I'll summon these imps to serve as my crew. I forgot what a handful they could be. Once aboard, they wouldn't listen to their captain. They ran amok in the bowels of the ship. Touchdown. Hey, fuck off. Hey, it's okay to drop the pirate voice. What pirate voice would that be? Wow. Zinyak's destruction of Earth had a profound impact on the afterlife. To heaven, it was a logistical nightmare. Saint Peter's meticulous nature drove purgatory wait times to unbearable levels. Meanwhile, in hell, where souls in pain were used as currency, it created a new era of prosperity for the wickedly enterprising. This economic boom resulted in the coffers of hell to be overflowing, which in turn piqued the interest of the most notorious man that sailed the Seven Seas. Long had Blackbeard been a thorn in Satan's side, robbing tax collectors on a semi-regular basis. But the promise of an immeasurable fortune drove him to be even bolder. An arrangement was reached. Blackbeard would provide information on strategic targets in exchange for a share of the profit. Johnny, who was interested in murder, not money, happily agreed. Grant ye the ability to summon my crew whenever they're needed. that every island has a treasure chest hidden on it. What's in the chest? I don't know. I'm not a fucking pirate. What I do know is that if you want to get that thing open, you have to find three corresponding glyphs. Look on the bright side. Nothing's trying to kill you. Gotta pick it up. I raided a Centerpol office and found information on where the president is being kept. Evidently, they've been trapped in some sort of soul crystal inside Satan's palace. Breaking in is an impossibility. Your best way to save them is to continue to try to draw Satan out of his palace. 